Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm doing today my um, what's in my hospital bag because a lot of you wanted to see that. So it's actually gonna be probably quite a short video because um, I'm not really packing too much because my hospital actually provides a lot of the stuff that I'm gonna need and that the baby is gonna need. So um, I feel like when you are watching these what's in my hospital bags, you should really take into consideration like um, the hospital that you give birth at and um, I still feel like each country and each hospital has different policies so so the content will definitely depend on um, you know what they already provide for you so for my hospital they basically give me everything that I'm gonna need like pads gowns for me to wear during labor and during um, you know my stay there and robe um, slippers and things like that so and they're also um providing all of the clothes for the baby diapers um nappy rash um cream so yeah just basically anything you might need for the baby while you stay there so the only thing that i actually need to pack in terms of clothing is our um coming home outfits yeah i actually packed a few of those because i'm not sure what we're gonna bring him home in but um yeah i'm going to show you that in a minute and i only packed a few toiletries that i think i'm gonna need yeah, i'm just gonna go ahead and show you that so that is my hospital bag and uh please excuse the wrinkled sheets i just uh washed them so um yeah that's my hospital bag and um yeah i'm gonna show you what it looks like when it's all packed um and i have here my folder but i turn it upside down so you can see my info but i have my folder with all of my blood work all of my pregnancy tests so yeah just basically and everything from my pregnancy so um i was advised to take that with me just in case they need to know anything i have here my makeup bag i'm gonna show you the contents of that separately so this is gonna be in my makeup bag and you might think it's overkill to bring makeup <laughs> to the hospital but if we end up taking um, pictures, I may want to do my makeup and when I do my makeup, I just feel a lot better. So um, yeah, I may or may not use these, but it's not like it's a lot. So um, they're all gonna fit in this little bag here. So I am bringing my foundation and my concealer. And this is a, a bronzer, highlighter, that's a little sponge for applying these two. Um, and then I have a brush for applying these two. <laughs> And then for my eyes, I actually have this um, eyebrow pencil and this eye pencil. It's just like a simple black one from NYX. And then a mascara and some lip balm. So yeah, that's just everything that I'm bringing as far as makeup goes. Then I have some um, breast pads, which I'm not going to take this whole box. I just wanted to show you the kind that they were. Uh, I'm just going to take out a few, I don't know, like... 10 should probably be enough i have no idea but yeah i'm just gonna take out 10 of these and pack them in my bag um i'm not gonna take the whole box obviously if i need more um the hospital is actually not too far away from where we live so um my husband can always bring me some more if i need them then i have some water wipes which i'm actually not sure if i'm gonna use them but i figured um even for myself i might use them um, then I have this um, Lanzino nipple cream. This is the Landlin one, um, which I've heard great reviews about. So I am bringing that. And then I have some hair ties. Um, I actually will also need to bring in my brush. I forgot about that, like my hair brush. Then I have a, a new toothbrush and a small toothpaste that I'm going to take with me. And then a razor just in case I need it. And I have some makeup remover wipes because i figured if i do end up wearing makeup or even you know when i go into labor if i am already wearing makeup then i'm just probably not gonna want to fuss around with you know skincare so i'm just taking those um just for like a quick cleanse if i need to then i have my deodorant which is the nivea pearl and beauty one i really love that one um i'm only bringing this um, as far as skincare goes, this is the Vichy uh, Serum. I'm also bringing a small Batiste dry shampoo because who knows if I will actually want to wash my hair while I'm there. Um, I guess it depends on how I feel, but I figured I would just bring it, you know, 
just in case. And then I have a Vichy thermal water um, because I have heard that this has a lot of great uses. So um, yeah, I'm bringing that. So those are all the toiletries that I'm bringing. Um, as I said before, if I do end up needing more, I will probably send my husband to get it. Um, but yeah, as far as clothing goes, I got these really cute and fluffy socks because um, I heard a lot of people say that their feet got cold during labor and even afterwards in the hospital, which I'm not sure if it's going to be the case, but I usually have cold feet anyway. So I am bringing two pairs of these and I got these from Lidl, in case you're wondering, and they were actually in a set with the ones that I'm wearing right now. Um, yeah, they're very, very attractive, by the way. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, I'm bringing these to the hospital with me. And then, um, these are actually also mine. Um, so I'm bringing this um, nursing tank top, which I got from H&M. Then I have a nursing bra, also from H&M, which is a really good soft one. And then a pajama, also from H&M, um, which I think is really good for breastfeeding, which... I'm not sure if I'm gonna wear this pajama there, but I figured I should have just at least one change, I don't know. I just feel like I'm feeling a lot more relaxed if I have that with me. So when I come home from the hospital, I'm probably gonna wear this tank top, pair of uh, maternity leggings and probably a fluffy cardigan or something. Um, so yeah, I'm, I haven't packed those yet because I'm still wearing them, I don't have a lot of leggings. so. Um, yeah, leggings that actually fit me right now. So I might pack that later on or I might have my husband bring it. And then for the baby I'm bringing these two hats, which uh, one is smaller, one is a little bit bigger, depending on how big his head is. <laughs> so uh, yeah, I'm bringing these two hats to bring him home in. And then I have three outfits that I'm not sure if I'm gonna... I mean, I'm not sure if uh, which one he's gonna fit in. So, um, yeah, I'm bringing this um, onesie and I'm also, I'm, I'm only bringing these pyjama ones and he's probably gonna come home in one of these, um, a hat and um, a cozy blanket. So, yeah, the blanket I think I'm not gonna pack right now. I think my husband's gonna bring that later on when he brings the car seat and everything. So, yeah, I'm hoping he will fit um, in this, but... Um, yeah, we shall see. So I'm bringing this and then this one. And we might want to take pictures in um, our own clothing, you know, not the hospital one. So yeah, those are the outfits that I'm bringing. And the only thing that I'm also going to pack that's not here is um, some snacks. Because I feel like my husband may need them while I'm in labor. Um, and I may need them afterwards, you know, in between meals and stuff. So yeah, I'm going to bring some snacks as well but that's pretty much the content of my hospital bag so yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and pack all of those in the bag and I'm gonna be ready to give birth <laughs> so this is my finished hospital bag all packed and ready to go uh, yeah I hope you enjoyed this video and I will see you in my next one bye guys